Absolutely. I mean, I, man, every, anything you need to know is out there on Google and YouTube these days. Like I said, I learned my whole business from Twitter. Um, so obviously, I mean, if you're in the world of private equ equity or managing money, there's a certain base life level of like financial acumen you want to have. You want to be able to talk about like what is what is cash flow, what is ROI or what is an annualized ROI or, you know, all these different things, you know, we are going to beat the market. What does that mean to beat the market? So there's a baseline level of financial acumen you want to have. You don't have to be Warren Buffett on this stuff. You just want to be able to speak intelligently to a level where someone would trust that you have an understanding of what's going on. Outside of that, like I said, the biggest thing about raising capital, that at least I've switched in my head, is it's, it's not an exercise in who is the smartest person in the room. That's who I'm going to trust with my capital. It's an exercise in who do I trust the most in this room to go and do the right thing. Um, and so... When it comes to what are the hard skills you can actually have to be someone who is trustworthy and likable and people want to approach, man, a lot of that is sales, in my opinion, like learn how to be someone that sells. And, you know, there's this perception sales is not like used car sales, being pressure, you know, being like a pushy, slicked hair back guy or something. A lot of what like is in the, I don't know what the phrase is, modern discussion of how to be a good salesperson is really just about like, how are you going to be a good listener? How are you going to be someone that understands the psychology of other people? There's a book that I really like that changed my whole perspective on sales. I was in sales for about six years before I started this business. It is called Pitch Anything by Warren Clapp. I love that book because it's about sales, but it's not about like, say this and use this tricky phrase. It's like, here's how the psychology of people works. They have this survival instinct in their mind. Outside of that, they have this flight or flight mode in their mind. And then they have this part of their brain that comp like processes complex logic. And then they have the, so how do I understand what parts of the brain are going off when I say certain things and how do I make sure my message gets across to the right part of the brain at the right time and all of that. And it's, it's understanding people is by far the, the number one skill that you need to have. I'll say this, and I don't mean shade on any woman. I know a lot of people that are very, very successful in the world of private. I talked to one yesterday. I can't lie. This is a crazy story. Talked to a guy yesterday. He's probably raised 20, $30 million for real estate deals. He has, it's him and his partner. And we were looking at a deal together that we might work on together. And we we're trying to figure out how to, you know, come up with the value of the property. And I'm like, oh, you just use this, this cap rate. Cap rate's a real estate term. It's like how you determine, it's like a multiple, like, hey, this the property produces this much money. We take a certain multiple of that. That's the value. So I'm like, yeah, apply this cap rate. He's like, what's a cap rate? How do I calculate it? And I was like, that's crazy, man. That's unbelievable. I mean, I didn't say like that. And again, no shade because this, guy this guy's really smart. The point I'm trying to make is, his success doesn't come from being the smartest guy in the room or his ability to put together the most world-class. His success is because people like him, people trust him. They have faith that he's going to do the right thing with their money. And he has delivered on that promise time and time again. And that's what wins. And 